I'm gonna get my setup. Uh, I'm gonna get my setup. I'll leave out. I might leave tonight so I can come back to Earth. It's a little four hour drive. I mean, I live in Miami now, but I just never went back to get my setup. Uh, he said, You know, man, what, what I already know how it go, man. You know? Wow! I'll be pissed. I can't even make a wide open layup and I made that. Okay, okay, he pissed off. That's why you gotta keep playing, because if he would have actually went and got that, if he would have ran, he would have got the ball. Now if I score, that'll be tough on him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I did not know I was going to blow past, bro. That's tough. Damn. I'm going to call him. Miss that. You said what, big dog? Don't get baited, now. I think you got baited. Yep. Eighty, eighty-five tray ball. That's it. Man, you gonna need that. A eighty-five tray ball here, though. It might just be you, big dog. Can I? Yeah, that's a bad shot. That's green. That's green. Speed will not get you on that one. Don't get baited. You're getting, you're getting baited, big dog. I need some layups, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's some. I need layups today. I need fucking layups, bro. He said, "Turn you into one of them dribble cat, them dribble dribble man." You ain't got no other choice in here, bro. You gotta try to get to that rim. Bruh! Good move, boy. <laughs> nah, that's tough. Damn, they wanted me to hold that bitch forever. Oh, 
Come on, 2K. Like, bro, what's up with the speed boost? That's green. Oh, my. Come on, free shot. Good defense. I hate the speed and they let you catch up with me. That's a, that's a tough. That's tough. Surprised I made that. Bruh, come on. Go to the rim. Gotcha. Good game. GG's, bro. But y'all, hey, you see the little dribble moves though, chat. They, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's a little song. Ain't a whole lot, but. You know, but still, man, I just had a lot of the shot that I'm forced not to take. And if I do take it, I better hope my time this shit right. Oh, cool. I'm gonna try to get some sun in a couple games so I get to this overdue. Got him. Said, Hold on, let me read that again, big dog. He said, game pace, game pace too slow makes you slow down your rhythm. Facts. Everything is about pacing this year. Everything is about pacing. You see, that's what happens when you don't have pacing. You're going to run into them traps right there, bro. You gotta, you gotta be very methodical, bro. You gotta pick your spot and know what you're doing before you even start. Like you really gotta know where you're going before you start moving the ball. And that's kind of like BS because basketball don't work like that. Yeah, you can have an idea. That's a quick stop right there. See, you can quick stop those type of shots, but getting the rebound and running out, you can't quick stop that.
Your man quick. Yeah, he is though. Quick stop. Damn. He said you just a little bricky. <laughs> When the game works, it works. You literally. When it works, it works. That's all I'm saying. Now that dude right there, he wasn't that good though. That's all that was. And he was slow. I was, I, I was, um, beating him for the rebound. He said, "My bad. I take that back, Mr. Splash, bro. Come on, come on, dog. You seen it?" <laughs> you seen it? Yeah. <laughs> you seen it? Mm, 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 mm. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Six Figure Morning Show. We give you the best advice in business and life. Aaron, I got your message, brother. Thank you so much. Uh, I message you on Instagram, so feel free to reach back out and we can set up a one on one at uh, any time, man. I'd love to talk to you. Anything I can help you with. Thank you so much. Uh, again, I message you on Instagram. Brandon and Andrew, thank you guys for the breakfast this morning. It is, I promise, I'm going to put it to use. Guys, you got to bear with me on this one, man. My, my day started at about 1.30 this morning. All right, it's currently, I don't even know what time it is. It's, it's before, Right now, I'm making this before 4 a.m. So uh, I'm up, I'm at it, and let me get a sip of coffee and let's go. So it puzzles me, man, that a lot of people think that they're going to run into success and not do anything. Your entire life is going to have to change. I'm talking 15, 16, 18 hour days. It's going to get real ridiculous, especially in the beginning. I've been asked on this channel before about health issues. I cannot personally speak on major issues as far as heart, you know, the stress on the heart. I mean, those things are real. I know they're real. I know they're out there. Uh, you know, as far as any forms of cancers or anything, I do not have that information for you. It, it does some. Sure. I'm sure there are things that correlate the stress alone, the anxiety alone, the depression alone, the, the all the feelings of loneliness. All those things are real. I'm sure the stress and the pressure on the heart is real. You can go read Elon Musk's biography. They talk about him, you know, not being able to get up off the floor, not being able to get out of the bed for this. is The world's richest man. And he's so stressed out that some days he can't get out of the bed for days. They have to send doctors to his home. He's had they've had to send doctors to his office. That man runs on fumes. And I am such a small peasant in the kingdom compared to him. I'm a grain of sand financially, everything business wise, everything. And I'm telling you that I run on fumes. I can only imagine what he goes through. I wouldn't want his life, guys. You got to completely understand and know the level you're trying to get to and how far you're willing to go. Don't this isn't a fairy tale. <clears throat> Don't run around with some whimsical dream of chasing unicorns in the woods and getting massively wealthy. Be careful what you wish for kind of thing. Do you guys? I wouldn't want his life. My level would be about the CEO of a Fortune 500 company, and that's probably pushing it. Bob Iger has a very stressful life. He is the CEO of Walt Disney. He has a very stressful life, but it's very rewarding. I'm not saying Elon Musk doesn't have a re uh, rewarding life, but it is difficult as hell. And do you honestly think you're ready for that? To be in charge of hundreds of people, thousands of people, hundreds of millions of dollars at one time. You think you're ready for that, man? Really? <clears throat> So if you do think you're ready for that, then start acting like that now. OK, I tell people all the time on this channel that you have to start acting like a millionaire before you are one. You have to become a millionaire before you are one. 
So if you're in your early 20s, man, that's even better. That's even better. If you're if you're freaking consuming any of my content and you're still a teenager, 16, 18, that's great. OK, but it's not too late for you older guys either. Start now, but get serious about the level you're trying to get to. What I mean by starting now is what do you think? I deal with one millionaire a day. I literally sometimes more than that, but I at least talk to one a day, just a millionaire, nothing fancy, you know, million, million and a half, maybe two million dollar net worth or so. But that's great. Right. A lot of you want to be there. You know what separates them from the normal average person? For one, they're always alone. Two, they're always educating themselves. That's what I notice. I'm sure there are other people that say different things online, but what I notice is they're always alone and they're always educating themselves. Every time I see these people, they are usually at home. They're usually reading. They're in front of their computers. I work in the electric and gas industry. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, guys. I work in the electric and gas industry. And every time I go to these people's houses, every time I see them, when they open the door, they're like, OK, this guy's about to interrupt my day. That's the look I get. <laughs> but they're usually on a headset. They usually have in a home office. They're telling me, hey, just holler at me if you need me, you know, kind of thing. They're in a home office. They're handling business. That's what they're doing. They're not sitting around watching TV. They're not doing that type of crap, man. If they are watching TV, it's usually the news. They're looking at things like that, man. They're watching the stocks. They're, that's what they're really doing. Do you think Steve Harvey wakes up and just goes and walks around the beach and bullshits? That man gets up and he's trying to figure out how to grow his money. Hands down. I don't care who you are, what you think. And for the people that come in the comments, life ain't all about money and life ain't this. And that, I don't want to hear that shit. You've given up on your dreams. All right? You're not the people I'm talking to. You're a consumer. That's what you are. I'm talking for the ones that want to be massively successful. That's what this channel is for. I'm talking for the man or woman, the young man, young woman, and whatever your age is, whatever your skin color is, religion, I don't care. I'm talking to the people that want to be massively successful. I'm talking to those folks. I'm talking to the people that don't want to wake up at 60 years old, clocking in and clocking out for somebody else. So when you see those comments of life ain't all about money and I don't see relationships like this and friendships like this. And guys, I don't give a shit. I'm not here to tell you how things should be. I'm here to tell you how they are. OK, that's just it. You're going to lose a lot of sleep. You're going to be stressed. You're going to be depressed. You're going to walk this journey alone and nobody's coming with you. You can't climb the mountain of success by holding on to the weight of the past. I've told you that a million times. It's not going to happen when I go around these millionaires and I talk to them and they just have a basic net worth of like a couple million dollars. House is worth about a half million. They got about, you know, one hundred hundred fifty thousand dollars worth of cars. So on and so on. You get it. <clears throat> Nothing fancy, but they're always learning. They're always educating themselves. Their education does not stop. If you want, if you want to create a massive amount of success or net worth for yourself, education will never stop. You will forever educate yourself. Do you think that Kobe Bryant, the late great Kobe Bryant, was not educating himself, even though he played basketball? Do you think he was not studying business, stocks, real estate, business to make the money? Stocks to grow the money, real estate to hold the money. It's a trifecta business, stocks, real estate. You don't have to be the best. It's great if you can master all three, but you need to at least master one business, stocks, real estate. That is how winning is done. That's what moves the economy. Excuse me. That is what moves the economy around business, stocks, real estate. It's a trifecta business to make the money, stocks to grow the money real estate to hold the money. We on the same page. Remember that for the rest of your life, you need to master one. You have to start acting like a millionaire before you are a millionaire. Go ahead and start educating yourself. What can you do to get to the next level? Everybody talks about getting to the next level and the next level is free. The next level is 100% free. It costs literally, it costs less than a thousand dollars to get to the next level. <clears throat> Let me tell you how to do it. The first thing you're going to need to do, it doesn't have to be the first, but it needs to be in there. You need to start studying real estate. Guys, each and every one of you want to be a homeowner. Each and every one of you know that millionaires have real estate. So why are you not studying real estate now? OK, why are you not studying and learning real estate now? It does not mean that you have to go and become a real estate agent. It does not mean that you have to even be a landlord or invest in properties. But you know real estate moves the economy. So why aren't you studying it now? 
And then in your process of studying and learning real estate on your own free time while you work your job, you might decide, hey, I want to be a real estate agent. OK, it's all part of mountaintop thinking if that's what you want to be. But you need to start now. You need to start studying the stock market now. You need to start studying business, at least business 101. Go pick up a business 101 book, an old college textbook. They revise it all the time, but that shit don't matter. The definitions are still the same. OK, little books like this are gems right there. The Random House Handbook of Business Terms, just full of business definitions. That way, when people have these conversations, you can move with it. The First Time Manager. You can go pick up books on management and how to be a leader and proper leadership. Go pick these things up, start reading, start educating and learning these things now. You have to act like a millionaire before you are one. Everybody wants to hit the lottery and get rich. But then when they hit the lottery and get rich, what happens? They end up broke, don't they? Because they didn't know how to properly manage their money. You don't have to become an accountant, but go study accounting just so you have a baseline knowledge of these things. Go study these things so you have an idea of what it's about and you don't get ripped off and robbed when the future you does become a millionaire. And then in the process of you educating yourself and learning, Brother, you don't know. Sky's the limit. Education is key. It opens up so many new doors, windows and avenues for you. Once you start to learn, you're like, shit, I really like accounting. I think I'm about to go to school to become an accountant. I really like real estate. I think I want to become a broker. You know what I'm saying? I really like management and leadership. I want to become a coach. I want to become, you know, a supervisor at my job, whatever it is. You get what I'm saying? So how do we get to the next level? Just told you business stocks, real estate, start educating yourself. It is free. Go to books a million, go pick up, you know, two or three books, five books, go grab yourself, go spend, drop 300 bucks. That's 10 books. Roughly go drop 300 bucks at books a million and spend the 10 books. If you read them at a slow pace, will last you all 2025. 2025 is right around the corner. Let's lock in and I'm going to tell you what to do right now. <clears throat> Before 20, I want you to research these two things. I want you to go research the Project Management Institute. OK, it's to help you move ahead and become a project manager and will teach you leadership. I think they even cover some of the lean and manufacturing and uh, all those different manufacturing safety. OK, I want you to look into that PMI Project Management Institute. It's a legit online. It's accredited. Everybody knows about it. I think that might run you about three hundred dollars. OK, go check it out. Look at it, guys. It will move you to the next level. <clears throat> so you've got the Project Management Institute. Then I want you to go look at uh, the Corporate Financial Institute. I am not affiliated with either one of these links that I'm telling you to look at. But I want you to look at PMI, Project Management Institute. And I want you to go look at the Corporate Financial Institute, the CFI. Corporate Financial Institute. Corporate Financial Institute has a lot of free information. And then you can if you take their free courses and you like them, go ahead and buy into their other courses. Other courses run you like twenty five, forty dollars a piece and they got some more expensive ones. But Corporate Financial Institute will teach you everything you need to know about the banking industry and finance. It's free. You can start free. Now imagine if you locked in for a year and you studied the FINRA website go to finra type google finra f-i-n-r-a imagine if you locked in for a year and you studied the finra website you started taking series you started doing this go check out series six series seven you don't have to take the exams but study the material you don't have to become licensed if you might decide you want to be and that's going to further you along listen to jump off topic don't let the lack of education I know some of you are doing that. You're letting the lack of education hold you back from moving forward in life. <clears throat> You're let. Listen, guys, I have a GED. I dropped out of high school. I have a GED. I spent about a decade in the army and then I went to college afterwards on the GI Bill. I learned more from personal development and self-help books and my own research on business than I ever did in college. Hands down, I learned more being self-taught than school ever taught me. I have a GED. Do not let the lack of education hold you back, but you need to start now. If you want to have a healthy, wealthy, successful life, 
then education cannot stop. You, you will never. And I, I promise you, you might make it to six figures. You might hit a hundred grand, maybe even 150. That's fine. But that's going to be, that's really rare that you're even going to hit six figures without some form of education. Because if you plateau, you stop at six figures, that's your fault. That's 100% your fault. Education cannot stop. If you want to be wealthy, education will be an everyday part of your life every freaking day. That is not, education is not college. It's not going back to school. So to go back, check out Project Management Institute, PMI. Check out Corporate Financial Institute, CFI. Check out both those websites. Great information on there. It's going to push you along. It's going to get you to the next level. You have my word. If you're stuck and stagnant, that's going to move you along. OK, guys, this shit doesn't happen overnight. This is 2025. We're making a proper plan. Let's get locked in now. 2025 is right around the corner. OK, it's right around the corner. Let's get the holidays out of the way. Let's start buying Christmas, doing the little things that we can do right now so it doesn't hit us so hard. 2025 is right around the freaking corner and we are going to lock in. Project Management Institute, Corporate Financial Institute. I want you to go to the FINRA, F-I-N-R-A website and start learning about the series exams and different things out there. OK, they even have coaching programs and all these things. OK, I want you to start looking at that. I want you to feel free to go look at the SEC website and start reading and learning all their information about the rules and the stock markets and all these different things. If you're needing a job right now, I want you to pay attention. If you want to break into real estate, but you don't want to be an agent, I want you to pay attention to becoming a home inspector in your area. I know home inspectors right here in the Nashville area making a quarter million dollars a year. I think all you need is a GED. Some areas you may not even need that. I think all you need is a GED, though. You do not. Uh, you don't need a college degree. I'm just not even sure if you have to have a GED or a high school diploma. I want you to check into your home inspector's license. It is a legit business. It is a legit licensing program. The longest one I know of is in Kentucky, and it takes two weeks. Here in Tennessee, a home inspector can get his license, I believe, in a week, maybe 10 days. Kentucky takes... 14 to 21. And so you have to look that up for your area. Look up the laws of that. But home inspectors make six figures. Good ones. They make good money, man. So there's a, there's a need for them. And you don't need a college degree. I want you to go look up being a loan officer, figuring out if you're interested in being a loan officer. That I believe you have to have a high school diploma, but you do not need college. Loan officers make anywhere from 80 to $250,000 a year. And these are real numbers. They're not made up. It's hard work. It is hard work. Don't think that you're going to make a quarter million dollars overnight. I know how people think this is hard work. You're going to have to dig deep. You're going to have to build and brand yourself. But those are two things right there that you do not need college degrees that will are high income producing uh, career fields. <clears throat> Lock in, guys. Imagine if you take 2025 and you do nothing but what I'm telling you to do. You do nothing but study real estate, uh, business stocks, real estate. You go and you study to become a home inspector. You, you build a home inspector. You get your license and then you build a home inspection business all 2025. You stay down. You come up. You stay broke. And then 2026, boom, you're an overnight success. Nobody saw all the hard work you put in by yourself. Come on, man. Imagine if you take all 2025 and you do nothing but study real estate. You just became a broker in one year. You understand? Imagine if you take all 2025 and you do nothing but study the banking and financial industry. You just became a banker, man. Regardless if you go get the certifications or not, up here is so much more important. Mindset is more important than money. I can't even stress that enough to you. Mindset is more important than money because if you get the money and you don't have the mindset, you will fuck it up. You will lose it. I got some money when I was younger. Didn't know what to do with it. What do you think I did with it, guys? What do you think I did with it? Bought cars, drank too much, went to strip clubs, just blew it like an idiot. We've all done it. Everybody's done it. I don't care. Man, woman, I don't care who you are. You've gotten a little bit of money every year. You guys, some of you guys get eight, ten thousand dollars back every year in taxes and you blow it. hundred percent. You blow it. That's kind of that's it, man. I, I swear, lock in. Twenty twenty five is right around the freaking corner. If you start looking right now, at what I'm telling you to do, and you say, "Man, Robert Edson might be onto something," let me look into the financial, you know, uh, the Finra. Let me go look into the Finra website. Let me go. Excuse me, guys. 
let me go look into the FINRA website. Let me go look into Project Management Institute. Let me go look into that PMI. Let me go look into CFI and start studying banking. Maybe if I study banking all freaking year of 2025, what can my life be? What can I turn into? Let me go get that home inspector's license and let me build and brand my home inspector's business all 2025. I stay down to come till I come up. You're broke anyway. You, you, you're working a bullshit job that you hate. You're already broke. You might as well just stay broke for one more year and do nothing but execute. Be unpaid for one more year and do nothing but execute. And then 2026 rolls around and you're an overnight success. It literally happens like that. <clears throat> the man who does more than he is paid for will soon be paid for more than he does. Napoleon Hill. The man that does more than he is paid for will soon be paid for more than he does. You understand? You're going to have to. It's like digging for gold. People go and dig for gold. So they put their business in the negative. They use the equipment. Back in the day, they use their energy. But nowadays, they put their business in the negative to bring it to the positive. They go, they dig a hole, they use their equipment, their gas, their oil, their time, their energy, everything. They don't get paid shit. And then all of a sudden, they find gold, they sell it, and they're paid. It's like digging for gold, guys. You're going to have to do something. You're going to you're gonna have to sacrifice something somewhere. Somewhere, you're going to sacrifice something. Something old has to go for something new to come in. And the easiest thing you can do to start this process and get to the next level is to sacrifice your time and lose some sleep. 15, 16, 18 hour days. You guys that have been on my channel a while, you know I ain't bullshitting and I really do this. I really do this. I'm up 2, 3 a.m. all the time. I'm going to bed 7, 8, 9. I live by the Sam Walton sundown rule. I do not go to bed until my desk is clear. Lock in, guys. 2025 is right around the corner. Pick a field that you're interested in, business, stocks, or real estate, and lock in and do nothing but 2025 but study and educate yourself. And I promise you, 2026, it will change your life. You will be a whole new person in 2026. You will not want to go back to that old man or woman you used to be. Lock in. It's right around the corner. Business, stocks, real estate. Business to make the money. Stocks to grow the money. Real estate to hold the money. Got it? Trifecta. Business, stocks, real estate. You guys have a great day. I'll holler at you soon. Take care. With thousands of people. You think every you think all thousands is good of heart? You think all thousands gonna play by the rules? Do you play by the rules of, of, of life? Do you break the law in your regular job? You think they're not gonna break the rules for the president of the United States? So, what I'm saying to you, anything on a large scale, NASCAR, the World Series, Major League. The NFL Super Bowl, the, whatever, your, your math teacher, going to the conference, any the college, <laughs> what you want What you want me to keep doing? The, the, the arms feel, <laughs> anything on a large scale is going to be manipulated. So the election is no different. It's a large scale business. Anything on a large scale will forever be manipulated please understand that the governor's race please understand that so no matter who win the election you have to see the breakdown of where you know are coming from remember when they called it's still going to be a situation they're confident enough that the governor's race is going to be out of out of reach for mark robinson but i'd like wow i actually got through there yo appreciate the love my boy jay just followed us on the tiki talkie which is traditional shout out to everybody showing love on the talk talk a large democrat shout out to all my twitch supporters man that would be trouble hopefully we get somebody to play some threes with carolina hopefully somebody pop out gets that much narrow we just listening to the election in the background we you know like i said it's a show but the show will affect you in a in a small way so guess what? No matter who win the election, do you got to go to work tomorrow? <laughs> do y'all see what I'm saying? Like, a lot of this stuff really ain't important, bro. It's important to the people that it's important to. If that makes sense. 
the election ain't gonna stop you from going to work tomorrow. Can you can you not go to work tomorrow because Trump win? Can you not go to work tomorrow because Kamala won? <laughs> we'll see how that do. We'll see how that work out. So a lot of this stuff won't change your day to day life, bro. Now, when you start dealing with the business of America, now that's when you feel the effects of who is the president. When you start dealing with the business aspect of it, now that's when you that's when you're gonna start feel some pressure about see. Regular, the regular people, who you care about who the president? They ain't going to do nothing for you. Dude, you're a regular person. Your life ain't, you don't make millions of dollars. You, come on, dog. Your job ain't ain't giving a damn about your opinions. You know, you got to call in a form. You got a form on your wall that they ain't been respecting that form for how many years? You can call in the uh, human resource 10 times. Still ain't got your, your, your last pay stuff. You still ain't got your last paycheck. Come on, bro. Like, we have to be. See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of us are not common. It is interesting. We don't have common sense. You know, because we still believe in this this game that's out here. Swept through the state in early October. Nah, 2K, get out my game. Thank you. Thank you for getting out my game, 2K, and let me make my wide open shot. To the extent that at one point. So you know, that's just my opinion. That's just my opinion. That let's run. I ain't. We need a third. I ain't. It's just me right now. I gotta wait till I get some people to pop out. Then I don't really play too. Who's big dog? Around online, there had been um, posts that they were. Let me see if I got some hoop or something. Was only helping people um, in democratic areas, not people who lived in. Everybody I got, I really stuff. know right now is either squatted up so or playing Call of Duty. I mean, I think it's actually the, the point I was um, going to make about Stephanie, what's, and I think it's particularly worth our. I ain't really got nobody I can pull out here. 